dear change makers for india and the world it is immense pleasure for me to share some of my thoughts on the workshop on intellectual property and innovation organized by atal innovation mission world intellectual property organization and niti aayog i am told that there are several sessions which has happened as of now and during these sessions i came to know that you have come to know about the in invention innovation and intellectual property building on ip consciousness this is most important for all those who would like to do something different in the world and when we want to do something different we must leverage ip asset to enhance the competitiveness and expand the opportunities available into the market and while we are trying to expand and create an opportunity in the market it is important that we learn on intellectual property and wonderful session has also already been taken by atiya on role of five point teaching training and developing human resource in the field of intellectual property so as a whole this workshop is offering the complete package and i am going to share my thoughts on protecting ip assets through patents trademark trade secrets its opportunity which is going to be built on using the ip protecting the intellectual property is important not just as we are trying to build the asset for us but equally it is offering the opportunity to leverage this on a commercial front how this opportunity can be leveraged on a commercial front what all essential elements which is to be taken care and where the ip is to be plug in as the asset and that's what i am trying to share it with you in this session when it is going to reach you it will offer you a detailed understanding and you have already been gone through the ip innovation entrepreneurship how this can be linked to that the most important element in the entire ip ecosystem even it is required to be offered through the training is the legal protection ip without legal protection has no meaning it is as good as the academicians who are publishing their research paper putting up their rich knowledge research in the public domain without any protection that is also open knowledge which is accessible to everyone and i don't deny that that's not a good or bad i am not going into that when you are creating this it is equally important that how you can protect this intellectual property has the national jurisdiction so whatever you are protecting in india it is protecting in the sovereign land 
boundary is within the India. So it is a territorial IP right. It has a limit, like patent has a 20 years of a life from the filing date. Same way trademark, every 10 years, if, if you have got the granted trademark, you have to renew it every 10 years. And that's how the legal protection gets evolved. In case of a trade secret, it is infinite till you maintain this as a trade secret. If somebody is stealing this, then there is no longer the trade secret. Like on the beverages, Coca-Cola formula or Pepsi formula, or earlier there used to be a thumbs up formula which is now relaunched with this formula. So many people have attempted to create some kind of soft drinks, but this formula and its ingredients and its typical taste remains forever. This is the classic case on which the trade secrets need to be preserved. Until you preserve, maintain it, it remains with you. There is no limit for that. But essentially, it is required to have the legal protection for obtaining this IP rights. Anything which is at an idea stage, in specifically in case of a patents, so ideas are not a patentable subject matter and specifically for the innovation, I think it is required to channelize the idea through IP protection and conversion of a invention to the commercial practice. That is something which is innovation. I am going bit in a basic definitions also. As I am told that there are going to be a students and few aspiring IP leaders, innovation leaders. So this workshop is going to help them. The IP is to create the asset. When we call it asset, all the IP protection which is built on as our IP asset, as a compendium of a patents, trademarks, copyrights, all these are essentially going to build the portfolio of our business. Like business portfolio, we have product portfolio. Same way we need to have the IP portfolio. We may be creating various types of product. But for each product, there are multiple intellectual property involved with this. And this, you may see the camera. Like this, this event is getting recorded on camera. But how many intellectual property are there in this camera? It has a lens. It has the proper design of the camera. It has the technology and software embedded into this. It has a brand name also. And whatever is getting captured is the copyright content. Like this session is a copyright. And this is getting captured. So this is also an intellectual property. So by doing this, we are in a way creating the IP asset. And this IP asset requires to monetize it. IP asset creation without the monetization has a no value. As if you have created IP preserved in the bank locker and you are not using it. Like the jewellery, which is very precious. And many of us in, in the Indian tradition, it is required to get it preserved. And it is preserved in the bank locker. 
But while we preserve this, we are not adding any value to this. The notional value on the increase in the gold price or decrease in the gold price, the gems price increase and decrease, it may reflect in our knowledge. But the real monetization will happen when we trade this, we sell it or we buy it. So that this trade of this property, we realize the value of this. And while we realize the value in the tangible form, intellectual property is an intangible form of realization of our IP asset towards the monetization. And when we are monetizing this, we generate the revenue from this. And this is most important to learn at this stage why we should be creating our IP asset and how this is going to benefit us. Like a startups, there are many startups who are doing the business, but few of them are doing something technically niche into this. Like one of the startup whom I have met, he has created, we all know the unmanned aerial vehicle drawn, which is getting lifted and the unmanned aerial vehicle need to have some runway to take off and for far away from the main destination or even till 10,000, 20,000 of a height or even some drones are more capable enough to fly much above. has been developed. But for each unmanned aerial vehicle, they need runway. They need runway of a 50 meter, at least 100 meter or 150 meters to take off and land. So this is a, by design, this is the creation of a, a device which is having the essential requirement to take off and land and need some kind of a runway. Here in IIT Delhi, one of the startup who has created an unmanned aerial vehicle which can vertically lift and then vertically after lifting, it will fly. So even like a helicopter, we are lifting and then it is flying. This UAEB, unmanned aerial vehicle, has also created some IP. And when this has started building up as the portfolio, like for various different components, they have protected it with IP. So there are bundle of uh, patents which are protecting the core product and the peripheral invention, which is called a fencing of IP. I know I am I am trying to give some new thoughts, new words, which are nowhere known. But it is important for each businessman. You are a future businessman. You are future entrepreneur. You are future of the country. So you should be familiar with this new terminology. Creating IP asset is not a singular term. You are creating multiple IP asset. And in this multiple IP asset, like in the camera or UAV, you are creating the basket of your IP portfolio. For each single invention, you are protecting this. And any such product is a group of IP. So with higher the number of IP which you have created and trying to utilize them in your commercial product, it creates the higher the value of your product. 
so this guy has created such a basket of the different ip and then went to the venture capitalist angel fund investors so before that when it was in a conceptual form the investment may be of a x then after protection and securing the ip right the valuation went to 50x so this is the impact of intellectual property while we try to commercially utilize the ip there are many startups in india national stock exchange which is the stock regulatory authority this stock regulatory authority is offering the opportunity for startup to list there and fetch the investment through shares and security deposits this offers the opportunity for differentiating your startup differentiating your enterprise differentiating your small medium entities and if you have protected it with your intellectual property a basket of intellectual property then market differentiation will be amplified one can see that how much value we have to invest because every application has a cost involved in in india we have a sipp program under the dp iit where the financial assistance is also provided to the startups academic institutions and this is the notional funding which is available for protection of ip one beautiful provision which is there in the patent amendment rules rule 24c of course i am going too much into the legal but this is required to understand by you that how much government is doing to make sure that you create your new invention so rule 24c offers the opportunity to fast track the entire ip examination process similarly in trademark there is a tmm form which offers you the opportunity to protect your intellectual property in fast track mode you may see that what is fast track mode like you are going on an on the normal highway and you are passing through the express way you pay the toll on express way likewise for expediting the application you need to apply for this and pay the fees for this and for startups 80% reduction is provided by the government of india and same way it is applied to the academic institution also and that's how the things will get expedited now how the smart inventors are using this ip i will take few minutes on this then will finally conclude this there are few inventors who have a flagship product and this flagship products they wants to protect it with the intellectual property so they apply only when they have their complete package of the product is ready they don't apply at a prototype stage prototype to the commercially ready product they keep it as a trade secret they won't disclose much into the public domain so once the trade secret is available as a commercially ready product 
whatever the IP related components, it may be a uh, 3 patents, 5 patents or 15 patents or even more, they apply simultaneously all the provisional application within the shortest possible time frame. Within a month or so, they file the complete specification with the claims what they want to claim as their own invention. And before that, they will carry out all the prior art. So that they will make sure that nothing is going to discourage them from having their IP. Then they file form 9, form 18A, which is for the early publication and expedited examination, what I have just explained you, rule 24C. So within a month or so, that is 45 days to 60 days, let me count on days, their application will get published. And once the application will get published, you, they have applied for the expedited examination. So, they will get the examination report within 15 to 30 days. So, all together it is reaching to 90 days. And their examination report, once they have reviewed, they have received, they respond to this. Again, they will be given the opportunity to defend their stand or position in the examination, at the examination stage by appearing for the hearing. And this process takes roughly around another 90 days to 120 days. So, within and once the, this is done, the reasoned order will be issued and they will get the IP granted. So, then the thing which takes the roughly around 3 to 5 years will get it granted within 7 to 9 months. By securing their IP right, then they will apply for the PCT protection. WIPO is facilitating this through the PCT protection in different WIPO member states. And for facilitation of this, they are inviting the PCT application. And this PCT application can be filed in India as a receiving office. So, startups have tried to apply this PCT. India is a receiving office and India is also the international search authority. India is also the preliminary examination authority. So, they select India as their receiving office, ISA, IPEA as well. And they apply with the claims which are already granted by India, so that this is thoroughly examined, thoroughly passed through all the patentability criteria as per the Indian Patent Act and with, has already been passed through the stringent assessment conditions. So, it is but natural that they will get the positive international search report. And similarly, if report is positive, they will get the international search examination report also positive. So, within say as a 12 to 15 months, they have positive ISA, IPA and then they will go into the different national phase, phase filing. It may be a US, it may be a Europe, it may be a Japan, it may be a Korea, whatever, whatsoever it may be. And depending on that business interest, with positive ISA, they will secure their IP right in these countries. Now, how this is benefiting the real creating the IP asset? is something which is important to understand at this point in time. 
and while we are trying to create the IP asset, each such national phase filing, Indian filing and PCT is a basket of IP for this particular product. Now in India, those startups who have listed their startup entity in the uh, National Stock Exchange, whatever the patent which they have got granted, there are a few startups recently I came to know that they are informing the regulator that for our flagship product we have got this, this, this granted patent in India or wherever they have got it. As a regulator, they are bound to inform the investor if their IP is protected and, and if they have flagship product, they are equally informing their investors that this is the IP right which has been confirmed by the Indian Patent Office or through PCT or through any national phase application. But this listing which is evaluating the merits of the stock value, in single day, we have observed that there are roughly around 8 to 15 percent growth which is happening in the span of a few days or few hours also in some case. And Think about within a day amplification in the valuation of this startup entity. So within a day or two, they will recover entire investment which they are making in or spending towards protection of this IP right. This is the beauty of innovation, its incentivization and protection and commercial utilization. This IP asset is helping to build you your credibility. It is helping to globally expand your business and certainly with this protection you can avoid the mitigation of the risk. So many benefits which is clubbed with this creating the IP portfolio. Now, I would like to give you one classic business case. Imagine now you have created your IP asset. One side is protecting your IP asset. The other side your business strategy says that we don't need to protect the IP. But there is IP in both the case. Now imagine that this IP like the camera is stable on a tri-leg table. This IP is also stable on a tri-leg table. One leg is a technology which offers the assessment model of a technology readiness level which is publicly known as a TRL. The second leg is a commercial readiness level, CRL. Whether the commerciality is competitive or not, what is the cost of this IP creation, what is the cost of material which is used in this product, what is a bill of material for the end product which is being prepared or not, whether it is competitive to the other available nearby accessible product which is already there in market or not how much price variance is there, etc, etc. And the third is maybe a societal readiness level, SRL or market readiness level, MRL. How much we are ready, how much market is ready, how much society is ready to absorb this kind of a product? I think it may happen with many startups, they are too early in their development. Society is not prepared, market is not prepared with this product. It happens. But how to deal with this? I think creating the IP asset will help you this kind of a 
challenges which is going to happen in the business and that's why it is important while protecting the ip creating the ip asset it may be a patent trademark trade secret or any other form of ip it is equally important to have the strategy on ip i think this is the most essential elements these are the most essential plugins which we require to understand i have tried to give you the flair of the basic understanding on each of this concept but for each of this concept there might be a maybe a hour two hour or a half a day is not enough to further go and have a deep diving into this but most importantly whenever you are trying to protect the ip create the ip utilize the ip we must have the vision of our ip creation we should have the vision of creating the ip driven solutions where there is a societal need and clear case globally there is a need to address the sustainable development goal and there are need for the ip driven solutions if world wants to find the solutions to this kind of a global problems ip office has created one compendium we have collated top 80 technologies which indians have created and which has the ip driven solution likewise all these solutions maybe a jaipur food see jaipur food is protected through ip how much benefit it is offering most cost effective solutions for an assistive device which is most essential for the differentially challenged people likewise there are several such solutions the uh, cavitation technology and the valve attached with this this is one of the taral tech is the startup which needs this kind of a solution khet work which is offering the solar submersible pump so there is a clear cut need for ip driven solutions if we have to mitigate the or address the challenges associated with the sustainable development goal i think for all this it is important that we create the ip where there is a gap and opportunity wherever there is a gap there is an opportunity and when there is a opportunity create your own ip portfolio and launch your product for becoming the successful business enterprise that should be the vision for a future entrepreneur and that's what i have tried to share it with you i may have taken some more time but this is more this is what it was most essential for each one of us to have this clarity in our line of thought thank you thank you very much